Engineer 775 here with another uh, water pumping contraption. Been looking forward to doing this project. I look forward to all my projects, but uh, this one is going to be fun too. This is different than a lot of hand pumps, submersible pumps. Um, what I have here is um, something I get a question about a lot. A lot of people ask me if they can put a ram, a ram pump in their stream. And then when I visit their site, I find out that they don't have enough uh, elevation, enough fall down to the ram in order to run the ram. They got a lot of volume, but they don't have the fall. And in those cases, if the water is deep enough, you can put in a river pump. And this is what I have here today. I've, I haven't put it together yet because I want to show you kind of the, the, the guts of it. So I started putting the prop together. And again, this prop is going to resist as the, as the water runs down against this prop. It's going to spin this in giant torpedo right here, this blue thing. Let's see if I can show you that. And in this prop, there is a, a slip coupling. And so this thing is going to actually turn. Um, and so the, the river pump will be um, actually, yeah, it'll be going this way as the river fights the pump. I haven't put it all together, but I wanted to kind of show you some of the parts. A lot of people ask, you know, how does that thing work? They just see it pumping water in the river, so I kind of wanted to take you through that. So there's five props that go on it, and then there is this attachment. The, uh, the slip coupling will attach here, Teflon tape this, and it will bolt onto uh, the torpedo, I'm calling it, which is filled. I'm going to turn this around. It's a tapered body filled with poly pipe and there will be an end cap that goes on here like this and it'll close that off and this thing will float about the center line of the of the river. I don't know if you can see that. But that poly pipe basically there's a screen inlet. It's an, an Archimedes screw in principle as the um, as the, the river pump rotates and spins around, it will pick up air. There's a pickup in here. It should be, it's right here. And it will go into the water for half the time and out of the water in the air for the rest of the time. And so what it's doing is building pressure as it spins. And this pump is an RP300. It will lift water uh, 80, 80, 80 feet and pump about 4,000 gallons a day. So that's a tremendous amount of water for free without having to use power and so I'm just unpacking this today this is a little R&D project I'm working on for a friend so I'll be putting together the prop but I really wanted to show you the internal workings of the pump before uh, it goes in the river I do not have time to put it in the river today which reminds me I'm supposed to be working on my uh, presentation for the Charlotte prep con coming up Saturday and we're gonna just I didn't tell you before but we're gonna have a breakout session um, and if uh, it'll give me more time to answer questions if you're interested we're gonna cover all sources of water and a multitude of ways to deliver the water from your sources and to store it I don't have enough time during the speaking session to cover all that I want to cover but uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, have that opportunity so I'll have a lot of these gizmos with me if you want to put hands on and and look at things, ask, ask questions, and I'll, in the breakout session I will do water and energy. Um, I can't bring the gasifier, but uh, I'll have a lot of little things that uh, we can look at in terms of water pumps. I'll, have, I'll bring this river pump and uh, several other things, so some homemade rams. So any questions you might have about water on your site, um, if you can come on out Saturday and meet us, we'd be happy to answer your questions. All right, Engineer 775, uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully soon we're going to put this baby in a river and show you how it works. Thanks for watching.